Welcome to the week in my life. Hi besties. Welcome to my first week in my life video, living in Orlando. My boyfriend's going a little nuts back there. Number one, it's Sunday evening. Um, and Dre and I are about to head out to Magic Kingdom. And it's very, very cold here. Hence why I'm bundled up. I'm about to do a whole little outfit tour in just a second. Um, reason why I'm doing week in my life videos is because I've noticed whenever I am doing any sort of like day in my life content, my day isn't always at like a 10 that I wanna show on vlogs all the time. And it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm trying to show you guys like an unrealistic depiction of what it's like living in Orlando, but I really just want to make sure that I'm producing content that I really enjoy and also that you guys really enjoy consuming. What we've done for most of the day, laundry, Dre went out for a walk and coffee. I did not exercise today. My exercising will be at the Magic Kingdom. And um, we've just been relaxing. I started watching Emily in Paris. Um, that washing machine is gonna drive me insane. But I started watching Emily in Paris, almost done with the whole series. Um, it's a cute series. I kind of like it. I see why people enjoy it, specifically why content creators enjoy it, mostly because the character Emily is a marketing firm girly. I was a marketing firm girly. Good times. Time to show you my outfit details. Number one, wearing the Carhartt beanie. Um, there are a lot of like microaggressions happening with like wearing Carhartt accessories as girls. These are by far just some of the best beanies that I found that like actually keep you warm. I am wearing the black one, got it from Academy Sports and Outdoors, wearing my Amazon Hanes hoodie in a 2XL, wearing Dre's, oh my God, Dre just said shoes are from Sheen. Um, I'm wearing Dre's little Levi's mid-wash Sherpa denim jacket. This is a Lululemon fanny pack. Um, went to the Lululemon Health and Wellness Month event yesterday and I did yoga again. Lululemon at Disney Springs, they're awesome. Um, did get other Lululemon fanny packs, we'll be showing those soon. I'm wearing my Amazon leggings, they're listed in my Amazon storefront. And also I have on some white high top socks which I've really been just enjoying wearing. I like the look of it. And then I'm wearing some New Balance shoes. Let me show you closer. Just got these. They're $70. Pretty sure saw my grandparents wear these. Babe, will you do an outfit tour of yourself? Yeah, shoes from Sheen. Stop. <laughs> I have Mickey Mouse shirt on from Zara. Boom, it's kind of old. I don't know if they still have it. It's like an old collection. I don't collection. know. Um, because it's cold out, I really just admitted that. I'm wearing a hoodie. My hoodie, I take it from my H&M. Uh, this joggers are from Uniqlo. I will always wear everything Uniqlo, love Uniqlo. Uh, shoes from Sheen. Um, Lululemon. I'm wearing the Carhartt brown hat to match it, kind of. Because I have nothing else to wear. Breaking out. He's always very hard on himself with outfits but he always ends up looking very like cool still. So, so we're going to the Magic Kingdom. Um, that was one of the fanny packs I was telling you about that um, Lululemon um, just got into their store at Disney Springs. It's the backside of water, AKA Tron. We made it to the Magic Kingdom packing lot. How are you feeling? Uh, you know, magical. The one thing I want to do tonight, I would love to ride the people mover. What is one thing What is one thing you want to do? Well, I want to see if the spring roll cart is open. If you get a dole whip, I'll get a citrus swirl. And we'll Bad. swirl it up. Want a real red? We got the whole thing to ourselves. 
So many poke stops. Area outside the park entrance. If you're standing, please hold on to the handrails and see. Now we're smoking the losers. Until the Don't do stops it. Completely and the doors open. We're going to Disneyland. People get quite upset whenever you refer Walt Disney World to Disneyland. Walt Disney World, which is in Orlando, Florida, is the most magical place on earth, where Disneyland is the happiest place on earth. It never gets old. Oh, look. is open now. That was awesome. Yeah, I think it's open. It's open. Oh, okay. We're getting spring roll. Cheeseburger, the 50th <laughs> ones are actually really good. And Dre is gonna go with number C, one of each. Number C. Letter C, whoopsies, let us see, one of each. Okay. okay, I don't know which one's which because I forgot what you said. The 50th? Oh, the 50th? The pastrami is very strong. It has a little bit of like a tang to it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show the little cross section. Oh god. Very peppery fish. It's good though, right? No, I'm okay, thank you. I tried this one actually at the 50th anniversary, which I will link the 50th anniversary vlog up in one of the Konas. This one is the cheeseburger egg roll, or spring roll, it's not an egg roll. What's the sauce? I don't know. It's like a tartar sauce. It's Ew. Tartar. Here I am dipping it. You'll probably like it at the end of the day. The cheeseburger one, is that good? It looks hot. It's not? Identical to the ones that you make. Oh, yeah, I make these at home, guys. But the real question is do you like the 50th one or the cheeseburger one better? And if it was somebody's first time at that stand, do you suggest them getting two cheeseburger, two pastrami, or one of each? One of each. There are two different like, profile uh -huh. profiles. One is uh, a little more stronger in like, the meat. Which would be the pastrami one? Yeah. The cheeseburger one literally tastes like a McDonald's cheeseburger in a spring roll. And I advise you that. I make double in an egg roll. <laughs> We're gonna try and navigate this crowd and get to pirates. temperature right now it's 50 degrees 50 degrees oh, if anybody wants to see a few cutesy little walls up look at that castle holy cow that sunset view beautiful we should do a selfie babe Look at all the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> I love this view.
brow, elegant. The Maybe elegance, call her Grace, the pizzazz. I'm Debbie. actually looking at somebody's outfit right now and they look amazing. I hope they're like a Disney style baddie, honestly. Oh my gosh. We just missed it's it. It's Nikki. Oh. What? Oh, man. I know, I love watching you guys do it. Are we ready to move some people? I smell the cookie and that's what I want. Cookie does sound kind of good. We're gonna ride the people mover. If you're a real one, you already know. Oh, it's such a pretty hour. And it's nice and not like freaking hot outside. I know, it's so nice. I love that for us. <laughs> I'm already getting some little message in the like, you haven't been on social media in so long, and the first thing you do is, what the hell? He was the inspiration for Epcot, and me, I was forward thinking ideas and didn't realize you were out Walt Disney World. Uh, this is a We probably live there. <laughs> I know, but we'd make a way. It's gonna be so long. Oh yeah. Oh, the paveway, the paveways. The like, the little walkways are gonna be so pretty. I didn't have to, I didn't want to say people over there. Oh yeah. They should do a whole new voiceover, honestly. Join White was out. It's time to laugh it up, baby. Yeah, yeah. Get it! Whoa! See that giant canister? That's when we collect your laughter. The more you laugh, the more power we collect. The What's new with you? You never laugh like a human world. I do. Look at the map. Look at the map. Yeah, it's behind you. See? I made that and I studied. And you could quiz me because I know the capital of every single country. Challenge accepted. Uh, humans, please help me out. You know the name of one of your countries. Oh, yeah. Monsters and Glass Floor today was hilarious. Please watch it. was so funny. The crew, whoever was making the jokes today, did such a good oh, like, for real, job. That was one of the funniest ones I've legit ever been to. Same. I could not stop laughing. They did such a great job also picking people um, in the crowd. It was really, really great. Highly recommend doing that if you just need a moment to relax. And just laugh. Honestly, yes. And every single show was completely different because yep. obviously they choose different people to be featured each show. So now I need some popcorn, guys. Ooh, yummy with the little 50th. Okay guys, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I can last here all night. Cause it's cold. Like, my fingers, honestly, I'm just like, I'm not ready. Um, I didn't really dress to be able to withstand around 40 degree weather. Temperature right now, 46. And I don't know if I can last until enchantment. Popcorn's good, cold, and a little low. But you know, I just wanted Disney popcorn today. Dre got a cattail. Sure did. Beautiful. And he got a hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. It's probably gonna be too hot. Well, it's not that bad. It's pretty dramatic. Usually I'm like, uh, hot. Cattail? No, you have it. He took the first bite. It's yum yum. So good. It's like a chocolate croissant. Also, uh -huh. Pierre Escargot. Not that. But those are very good. We did notice that the hot chocolates are put in Disneyland cups. 
just saying, at the beginning of this vlog, I did mention Disneylanders. I summoned Disneyland, that's all I'm gonna say. But we're actually gonna head um, out of the park now. We've only been here for like two-ish hours. Um, and we're gonna head home. Might hit up a drive through on the way home. We'll see. Ready to begin. It's not controversial. These are like right under us. Oh my God, this is where they're shooting them off from. No way. No way, we're at the building that they're shooting these fireworks off at right now. We're literally underneath them, you guys. I don't even know how to describe this. Like literally they're being shot over top of our car. Oh wow, there it is, holy cow. There it is, we got a guy guiding us, hi. Wow, literally right there. So how do you feel about fireworks being shot over top of our car just now? I just went through war. Good morning besties, happy Monday. I'm actually getting ready now to head to Disney Springs because a new vault collection just released and I'm getting ready. But I put on my jeans from Zara and they've ripped right here. That is a really weird place to rip. These are one of my favorite jeans. They're one of the most flattering jeans I've ever put on my body um but I've had them for over a year now so honestly it was time for them to die okay you guys OOTD um white long sleeve little mock neck from Amazon freaking love this thing I put on my target straight leg jeans can't you, you can't even see anything this is Dre's um leather jacket um and then I see bad boots <laughs> that I've shown you guys before. Now I'm also gonna put on these hoop earrings that I also got from Amazon. Um, we love Amazon in this house. Is this too much? I'd be asking myself that too much. I just need to start wearing stuff that I like. I like this outfit, so I'm gonna wear it. All right, at Disney Springs, fall collection should be at the Marketplace Co-op, so that's where I'm going. Goal is to get stuff for TikTok as well as Instagram, some vertical videos. I'll also show you guys some of the stuff. One of the things I am worried about, and people that are in the Disney community already know, is that if the eBay resellers already got to it, um, because there is a large possibility that they got to it and it's already all sold out and being sold on eBay for quadruple the price, so we'll see. Okay guys, in the Marketplace Co-op, this is definitely not around where it actually is placed, but there is a spirit jersey that I came to see. That little logo, Mickey looks so cute. And then the back of it, you know, Walt Disney World. And then I do like that they have the Florida up there, but the Walt Disney World is all down the arm as well. There is a 50th anniversary bag somewhere however i did see a woman walking out of disney springs with two cast member escorts with a wagon full of disney world merchandise bags so um it's not uncommon to see around here you want to know the worst part about living in a new city left disney springs by the way I wanted to get Chipotle on the way home and I looked up like the nearest Chipotle to Disney Springs and it said something like four miles away. So I was like sick, it's like 20 minutes. I am now by Universal. And like I calculated it of like when it would take me to the one that's like closest to home. Universal. And now that I'm over here, I looked up like 
from my home address how close is the nearest chick or chipotle to me there 10 minutes and now i'm 35 minutes away from home so like apple maps they're the worst sometimes and moving to Orlando, I'm now driving through all of these cities just to get freaking Chipotle, but now I'm close to Trader Joe's, so I'm gonna stop into Trader Joe's. I've literally been looking for coconut aminos. Like crazy, can't find them. So we're also gonna go into Trader Joe's and do a little bit of damage. That's all I'll say. My Chipotle order. Brown rice, black beans, uh, mild pico de gallo. I got some sour cream, cheese, cause I'm feeling fancy today. Guacamole, cause it's a veggie bowl, so it's like added to it. And then lettuce, ta-da. And I got some chips. I'm off to a game night at my friend Alia's and it's 90s themed. So of course I'm wearing the gray zip up with a little denim on denim action. The new balances. The white socks, very 90s dad chic. Put on the flannel. Whoa. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yay! Hi, it's Tuesday. Um, just did my makeup put on a lot more makeup than i was anticipating like period um because the weather today is going to be really really bad um i was like yeah i'm not gonna put on like too much like for me and i've expressed this on my channel before um i like putting on makeup because it helps me feel just like a little more productive um i don't know if anybody else feels that way but let me actually show you guys the weather today but like right now the whole city of orlando as well as surrounding cities are just like it's gonna be like an all-day ordeal even whenever you like zoom out you know what i mean my friends are talking to me on this app that we have it's called marco polo <laughs> so that we can send each other like long videos but um yeah, today's weather's just gonna be a little yucky. So I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do today. I have quite a bit of like computer work that I need to do. Um, like I need to start editing this vlog. And then a lot of people said in my poll that I posted on Instagram the other day, if you're not following me on Instagram, you totally can. Um, I posted a poll asking if you guys wanted me to do just like these random day in my life videos that I started filming and then they crashed or like I just stopped filming it. Um, because I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. Sometimes as I'm filming YouTube videos and doing just day in my life sort of stuff with moving, one of the things that happens is mood swings and this is something that I am still trying to adapt to with living here. So some days I could be um, really, really happy for portions of the day. And then towards the end of the day, I'll just like, I'll crash. And it's not like I get sad. I just feel unproductive. And it's not that I am unproductive. It's just that I am processing where I'm currently at um not like where i live but just like where i'm at personally and i know that a lot of you guys feel this way that whenever you move i do not want me to be so go 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 that when i'm like on the other side or i am um processing what's going on I don't want my body and my mind to register this move as trauma. Um, I want it to register it as something good that happens. So that's why all of the day in my life stuff kind of, it just doesn't work out. Also because it, it, it's, it's just like, there's a lot of life adjustments happening right now. And um, I'm not gonna try and sit here and put on a show. And that's why I figured that these week in my life videos are gonna be, um, just a lot easier for me um so yeah i hope that you guys are okay with that but these day in my life things that i've done in the past that i really really enjoyed 
I'm just not trying to over exhaust myself and force myself to perform anymore. I'm just like, I'm sick of performing, um, for a camera. So, um, yeah, um, still going to figure out what to do today. I'm actually going to start editing this vlog so that I can have it up for you guys pretty soon. Um, and yeah, we're just going to try and figure out what's going to happen on this little rainy day to coffee we ran out of k-cups so i made it in the french press this morning i did a little duncan french vanilla y'all already know i'm i'm a gallon gal but recently just like having water in a glass cup um i've been drinking more of it and i'm trying to keep everything just like even keel but i'm just gonna have you guys know i found a lot of great water bottles on amazon the other night almost purchased all of them i'll leave that in the description down below i have an ideas list on amazon called the hydrated honeys just saying um because i love a good water bottle Ooh, it's later now was that my hair oh no it's water on the screen um i'm now on my way to the wilderness lodge to get dinner and hang out with a couple people um some tiktok friends and youtube friends um dre is staying home he's a full-time student so i will be going by myself why did we decide to go to geyser point in 50 degree weather i don't know will this be a bad decision quite possibly but i'm layered up and i'm ready okay just got to the beautiful wilderness lodge and it is like havesies drizzling it's cold front coming through but we're headed to geyser point you're not eating afternoon um but you guys saw obviously in the other clips i did a little workout this morning i went on the bike in my apartment gym and i did a little peloton ride um currently loving 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 the peloton app um one of the things i noticed this year i was getting a few of the workout scaries um, workout scaries are totally normal, by the way. And, um, one of the things that I did was I got the Peloton app. So then I don't have to think about like what workouts I'm doing, how I'm setting up my day. Um, and like, I was just sick of paying like $90, $100 for a cycling class that I didn't like because the ones in Orlando obviously aren't the ones like, um, I love in Jacksonville. If you're also struggling with like workout scaries, um, highly recommend getting it. I, for my makeup, I need to switch it up. One thing that I don't do enough of, and um, this bronzer just doesn't do it for me. Um, I need to get another one. Um, but I'm really liking that no makeup makeup look that a lot of people are doing, and that's like the new thing right now um and i need to try it um i know liquid products are like super in right now i just need to go for it you know what i mean i just need to go for the liquid products um but yeah i just y'all i get stuck in routines whenever it comes to like i don't know beauty products specifically makeup I used to really, really be into makeup and like, I don't know, just makeup-y things. And then, I don't know what happened. I just like stopped one day. Um, but I used to really, really be into makeup. Like really into makeup. I used to be a full coverage baddie back in the day. Um, 
now I'm not. And I use the same products until <laughs> like a canister is empty and I just call it a day, you know? Um, my, I don't know, just like makeup specifically within like the beauty whatever used to be this like really really big part of my life and I used to do like all of these crazy eyeshadow looks and just you know what have you and I just I don't do that anymore and um and honestly the older that I've gotten the more that I try and simplify things in my life I don't know if like simplifying things comes from anything specifically but um i just really like simplifying my routines now um i like using as little products as i possibly can i used to just like overcomplicate a lot like a lot a lot and i'm just i'm trying to simplify my life in 2022 and I don't know if other people feel the same way, but I'm trying to just chill this year. Um, I'm trying to buy less things, just like material goods. Like if, if I don't really want it, like am I gonna buy it? And I know within the like community of people online that a lot of people know me for, which is the Disney online community, um, consumerism is right now unfortunately like at the heartbeat of that community um and i just i like showcasing merchandise but it doesn't necessarily mean i'm gonna buy it i'm just saying um really love showing things off but actually hitting purchase i'm trying to make it be harder for me to hit purchase Good morning. It's now Thursday and it's a little chilly. It's a little chilly today. Actually, it's been cold all week. The high today is only 60 degrees. And then I just checked the weather. The low on Saturday, I'm going to Epcot on Saturday. The low on Saturday is 29 degrees in Orlando. 29 Okay, I went this morning to our apartment gym. I did a Peloton bar workout. Um, it was Disney themed. And then I also did the Encanto ride on Peloton. And it was so fun. Literally, it was so fun. Other things that are on the agenda today, I'm doing an Amazon Live at 11.30. I am doing a Get Ready With Me and I will have that um, linked down below if you want to like watch it I'm gonna share everything that I do it's gonna be around like an hour long so even if you want to like put it on your TV if you have like an Amazon fire stick or whatever um, y'all can totally do that so I'm going on Amazon live at 1130 and then I'm meeting up with one of my really 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 good friends Sierra tonight at Magic Kingdom we're gonna get there around like I think five o'clock and we're just gonna spend the night there I'm about to get in the shower, but I wanted to talk about this. Um, and it's something that I mentioned earlier this week about just like mood swings whenever you move. Um, and I had a, I had one last night um, where whenever I have a mood swing, I typically just like shut down, like total shutdown. And um, something in particular triggers it. And, um, I'm not like open about sharing like exactly what triggers it, but there's something in particular that triggers it every single time. And, um, and I just shut down and I feel horrible about it. Um, because like I was at Disney Springs when it happened because, <laughs> uh, my boyfriend and I went to Disney Springs last night and this particular trigger, I'm trying to manage it as best as I can, but sometimes I just I just shut down and I don't want to talk I I literally like I just want to go home I just like want to retreat um, 
and like and the thing is whenever those types of things happen um it's okay like i'm processing a really big move and i'm i'm still like trying to get used to where i'm at um so when that mood swing happened i felt really bad because all i was thinking to myself is oh god i really hope that you know unfortunately whenever i'm in disney now i think to myself like whenever that happened we just so happened to be in line at gideon's and we were just like talking about it and i was like oh no what if the person in front of me follows me oh no what if the person behind me follows me and they're hearing what i'm talking about and then i was like and then they're gonna go post it online and they're gonna you know like do whatever like it's it's stupid stuff like that and then it just makes it worse which i shouldn't be thinking that way but unfortunately that's just the reality of having an online following um and for anybody confused if you just started following me i have i'm on tiktok larger following on tiktok whatever um but yeah i just i just like had a moment last night and i don't like it i don't like it when that kind of stuff happens in and i just like i feel like whenever i have those moments of like a mood swing i feel like i'm a burden on everybody around me um and a lot of times i feel like my emotions are a burden always been like a pillar um wherever i am that's how people describe me like i'm just a steady person i'm like i'm a steady person i have a tendency to be predictable when you're around me like you just always kind of know what mood that i'm gonna be in because i tend to carry the same like just i don't know people have said like a peace a calmness um excitement fun just like i'm i'm a pillar wherever i am like people just feel safe around me and they feel whatever so whenever i have these moments of like a swing and a, like a shutdown essentially because i like i go into processing mode and it's like i have a trigger that happens and then like i just fall into whatever i know a lot of people are going to be like shannon you just need to go to therapy okay listen i'm in in therapy it, you can go to therapy all you want but your best friend in these situations is time and I need time to help me with these things so um so whenever that kind of stuff happens and I have like a swing and I go into shutdown mode I feel like those emotions and those moments are a burden because I can no longer be a pillar in that moment I can no longer be a safe place in that moment I can no longer be like the sturdy person and I feel like a burden because then I have to essentially be like cared for and I hate that I literally hate that um but it's just it's something that I have been going through with moving here and it's not literally you guys the trigger it's nothing bad it well it's nothing bad but whatever i share on the internet i give people the authority to speak into it and that is my boundary so if you've just moved somewhere and you're also having these emotional swings and you just have random moments where you shut down it's okay i'm having it too um my life isn't just like ponies and rainbows and disney magic all the time it's real um like my life isn't just disney like my life is also other things so so yeah, still trying to figure it out. Um, still in the place where I'm just simplifying my life, trying to live in a place of abundance. I'm trying to think abundantly and not in scarcity. Um, it's a shift that I'm trying to have this year. So yeah, um, if any of you guys feel the same way, um, I'm with you. And our best friend in these moments is time. And the hardest thing to think about is how much time do I need to help with this situation? And unfortunately, we just don't know. So we take it day by day. Um, luckily, mine aren't happening like as much as they used to. It's maybe like twice a week. Twice, yeah, at this point. But I'm going to get in the shower so that I can do my Amazon Live because I'm doing a whole get ready with me. 
I'm gonna shower, wash my hair. I'm doing it all, you guys. I'm sharing everything in that Amazon Live that I use to get ready. Yes! Sometime later, um, I mean, it's a lot later, legit, like six hours later. Um, I'm just getting ready to head to the Magic Kingdom. I have on my shop Sunshine Seekers hat, the Magical Athletic Club. I have on my Madewell hoop earrings. I have on an Amazon mock neck. I have on a puffer jacket that I got from Target a while ago. I'm wearing skinny jeans, call the police. And then I'm going to wear my Nike blazers that I have in the car because those are like higher up. Um, so shouldn't be too cold tonight, but it's still gonna be cold. Um, it's gonna get around like 59. So that's why I'm all bundled up. I can just like zip this up really high. I also have a hoodie in the car if I wanna put that on as I walk outside. So let's head to Magic Kingdom. I'm gonna film this on my phone tonight. So um, yeah, let's go. coffee shop called oh goodness what is it new city coffee co really really cute in there they had the cutest little coffee flights i just showed you guys so now i'm headed to disney springs to help out my friend alia with some hosted content at enzo's hideaway i also want to disclose at enzo's hideaway because i am there as a plus one with my friend who is hosted i will not be paying for the food I am not the one being hosted, but I am there helping the one that's hosted. So I just want to disclose that information. Um, and yeah, let's head to Disney Springs. It's about a good 40 minutes from here. So I'm going to put on a little podcast. I've been loving the I Love You So Much podcast. It's just really positive and kind of like self-help, but also it makes me like not feel alone. But I love Kenzie Elizabeth. So I'm just going to put that on and we're going to head to Disney Springs. I have made it to Disney Springs and I'm here with Alia. Hello. And we are on our way to Enzo's Hideaway right now. Oh. Alia was telling me they have a new lunch menu. And I've already Good. told you guys, full disclosure, this is a hosted meal because of this lovely woman. I'm just here for fun and to help shoot content for her. Oh. But that is here all. for fun. We are here for fun. Heck yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the food, but definitely gonna try and keep my camera down as much as possible. But I'll see you in Enzo's hideaway. This is so cool. Wow. So the idea of this is like a speakeasy in Enzo's hideaway. It was like a secret side door. How cool is this? Good service. What an incredible, beautiful, stunning, wonderful, amazing, gorgeous lunch we just had at Enzo's Hideaway. Definitely would suggest checking out Enzo's Hideaway if you want a place in Disney Springs that is not too hustle and bustle. Our food came out in, in a moderate amount of time. It, it was the perfect timing for table service, you guys know. like. In Disney, they're typically trying to like rush people in and rush people out at Enzo's Hideaway. The timing was literally perfect. So definitely suggest Enzo's Hideaway if you have a speakeasy lover in your life, because that place 
was awesome. Alia and I also stopped for Starbucks. My Starbucks order right now, guys, guys, I need to come out and say this. Um, every time I've had coffee, I've been having stomach issues for the rest of the day. So I am taking at the very least three weeks away from coffee. I know, I know. So my Starbucks order, because I'm not drinking coffee, is an iced green tea. I got a venti today and I get it with no sweetener. Um, and I don't know why, I just kind of like the bittery taste. All right, I'm back home. I am changed. I put on one of my sweatshirts that you guys always ask me about this one. I bought it on Shop Disney a long, long time ago, like three years ago. I have on this my favorite Amazon leggings ever. I will have them listed down below. They're only like 20 bucks and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. And then my slippers that my friend got me, they'll also be linked down below. I I'm going to end the vlog here. This was genuinely like really fun doing a week in my life vlog. I definitely feel like this is more my style, my speed. I just felt like there wasn't a lot of pressure on me each day to have a ton of things to do and to film like every little nook and cranny of my life throughout the last, you know, day. So I definitely do like Week in My Life, so just let me know down in the comments if you enjoy Week in My Life videos, if you like shorter vlogs, longer vlogs. I definitely wanna make sure that like, I'm catering to what you guys liked. I posted an hour long vlog as my last vlog, which is my, my vlog of uh, moving to Orlando. It was an hour long and it was the most viewed vlog I've ever posted. So I feel like I might be a long, vlog girly who knows i'm gonna end the vlog here because i am literally just gonna edit this video i'm gonna work out tonight and i'm gonna have a nice little night in i need a little bit of an anti-social night just to like recharge my social battery and i really really hope that you have a great rest of your night or day whenever you're watching this and i will see you in the next one bye y'all